If we want to know why the universe is built the way it is, we need a complete understanding of this elusive force. But there's something missing in our understanding of what gravity is and how gravity works. Getting to the bottom of the problem has vexed scientists as far back as the ancient Greeks. But in the late 1600s, in a small village in Lincolnshire, the question of gravity was tackled head-on by one of the granddaddies of modern physics. This is the home of Sir Isaac Newton. Film about gravity, Apple. <laughs> it's a it's a cliche, but the story goes that it was in this orchard that Newton was sat thinking about the universe and an apple fell on Newton's head and got him thinking about what it is that makes the apple fall. What force pulls the apple towards the ground? Newton suggested that the apple falls because of a force of attraction that naturally exists between the apple and the earth. It's this force that we know as gravity. But Newton's real genius was not to just stop with the apple, but to ask the question, is the same force that causes the apple to fall here on Earth also responsible for the movement of much bigger things out there in the cosmos? Newton believed that gravity is a force that acts throughout the entire universe. In 1686, he finally managed to break it down into one single mathematical equation. Newton's understanding of gravity is actually incredibly simple. That The force between two objects depends on only two things, the mass of the objects and the distance they are apart. So the more massive the objects, the stronger the force, and the further the objects are apart, the weaker the force. See, it's easy to to show, actually. Got a pen. So this is Newton's law of gravitation. The force is equal to the masses of the two objects divided by the square of the distance apart of the objects. And then there's Newton's gravitational constant that just sets the scale. It tells you the overall strength of gravity. With one beautiful bit of maths, Newton had figured out gravity. But not just here on Earth. The moon seemed to orbit the Earth exactly as he predicted. As did the planets orbiting around the sun. Newton believed we live in a universe in which, ultimately, the movement of everything can be predicted. Newton's universal law of gravitation is one of the most important turning points in physics. And that's because it really is universal. It allows you to predict not only how things move under the influence of gravity here on Earth, but how the stars and planets and even galaxies move all the way across the universe.